Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing this Power Grip um, set of carving tools, and I really like these. I got these um, because of a recommendation from the Wood Carving Man on uh, Instagram. Um, if you haven't seen his channel, you should go check it out. He does a lot of like gaming and um, pop culture style um, carvings. They're really neat. Um, so check that out and he has an Etsy where he sells them um, but he recommended these they're some of the tools he said he uses the most um, and I understand why now because these are really nice um, they're Japanese made um, they come with all this like Japanese pamphlet kind of stuff that I can't read um, but they come in this case I have used these quite a bit since I got them so now that I have those out of there, um, this is kind of nice because you can throw it into a drawer and you can just pop this out and get what you need. I like that they come with these like little sheath things um, made of like rubber because you can just throw these on and throw it into a bag and take it with you and you know you don't have to worry about them um, cutting anything. They are nice tools. They're easy to grip. Um, the handle is a lot different than anything else that you see out there um it's just not like most palm tools most palm tools have that ball um and these have this like kind of skinny long handle with this smaller piece right here to get a grip with your fingers um i feel like they're a good size i feel like most hands small or big could find a place to choke up or grip and they're still going to be able to get some power behind their carving um, you can use them re reversed so I like that and it comes with a variety of different sweeps um, so that's cool um, yeah so we're just gonna take all these covers off all right so this is like a, I mean, they don't indicate a sweep number on them anywhere that I've seen. So, um, you know, kind of just guessing, but this is a very shallow sweep. It's like a two or three, I would guess. Um, but not quite chisel, which would be a number one. Um, this is a little bit more aggressive of a sweep. So I would say it's like a, maybe a five, um, but I'm also not great at guessing sweeps. Um, here, I'll get you in a little closer. All right. Hopefully that helps a little bit. But um, this is a V tool. If you can see that. I like this V tool a lot. I have been using it quite a bit. Um, this is a small gouge. Um, it's almost like a soft V, like a, it's not, you know, it doesn't come to a dramatic point or anything, but it's definitely more of like a V than just a gouge sweep. So, um, it's kind of small, like a micro tool. Um, there's this chisel. So it's nice. A lot of, you know, sets don't have chisels and I kind of like chisels. Um, just, you know preference thing but I think they're pretty useful for a lot of stuff um, this is a bevel um, or not a bevel a skew with a one-sided bevel so it's flat on the back um, so it's gonna be pretty easy to sharpen you only have to worry about that one profile and then you can just you know knock off the burr by stropping on the back of it um, these I think are some of the most underrated tools out there um, I've really been enjoying using SKUs and trying to learn how to use them better, um, which is something I've been kind of picking up from Alec Lacasse. Um, he's a big fan of SKU, you know, tools, um, and he has a variety of different types that he uses. So, you know, you don't have to get a particular type of SKU, it's just a matter of learning how to use it and how it differs from different gouges. Um, and then another gouge, um, it's a little bit smaller. In the millimeters as far as you know how wide it is um 
yeah, so not sure what the sweeps are, but they are really fun tools to use. Um, it could be kind of like a little cutting demonstration. Here, let's start with the V tool, since that's the one I think most people are going to like the most. Let's see here. All right. But yeah, they come super sharp. I've used these a lot, and they're still really sharp. So they have good edge retention. Um, I mean, just tearing through this basswood. And this basswood is not very great. This is uh, some of the worst basswood I've had so far, but it does not bother these tools. So you can use them reversed, like I said, so you can carve, you know, reversed if that's your thing. Um, they do tend to, in my opinion, work a little bit better when you're just pushing them. Um, maybe that's just the length of the tool kind of lends itself to carving like this, but um, I think that's probably fine because most people carve with gouges pushing forward instead of reversed. But like I said, you can use these um, reversed and it works. So um, the design of the grip um, is good. I mean, you can get a good grip. I think large or small hands are gonna grip these tools really well because um, there's quite a big space right here that you can kind of get some you know, power behind your tools by getting that grip into this larger section. So as you push forward, your hand kind of catches there. So very ergonomic. It just feels good in your hand. Um, yeah, so really nice tools. I'm very glad that, I mean, they're just razor sharp and yeah, so I cannot say enough good things about these. I'm glad that Isaac recommended these and I understand why he likes them so much. Because they're, they're fun to use. I feel like a lot of carvers don't like sets um, because they think, oh, you only use a couple tools. Um, and I think that's probably true for most situations. Um, I think that they did a good job of picking profiles that you're going to, you know, enjoy using. I think some of them are a little bit too close in sweeps. So, like, there's not a huge difference in some of these, but, you know, that's okay. I mean, sometimes it's just a matter of, you know, what you like to use and how you carve, but... And, I mean, one benefit, if you have two tools, like, these don't have a dramatic difference in sweep. Um, there's some. This one's got a more aggressive sweep. But if you think, oh, these are basically the same tool um, or don't have enough of a difference, you can always just use these, you know, like, use this one until it gets dull, set it aside, and now you have another one. And, you know, you don't have to worry about stopping and sharpening your tools. Um, but here, I'll kind of give a demonstration, the difference and show you that there is a difference. So this one is more shallow right here. So just depends on what you're trying to do. So, um, The skew would be really good for um, getting into like the eyes on like a Santa or something like that um, or like around the nose um, which is that type of like scooping motion is what skews are best for um, but yeah these are great tools I really enjoy these um, they're well made and they are going to stay together for a long time like these are not coming apart um i got another set of tools that are they're kind of like knockoffs of these i can't remember the name so i will link the name in the description or put it in the description so that you guys can avoid that particular brand um 
those, they, I mean, the blades were coming out of the tool, like, almost immediately. They were very, very dull. Um, they were just absolute junk. And these are a completely different story. These are very nice tools. Um, I especially like the V-tool, the skew, uh, and the chisel. I like chisels a lot. Um, it's something I picked up from Simon um, Wood Carving. Um, which he has not been super active. He's a carver out of New Zealand, um, but he's been kind of stepping back from carving for a while now. And uh, but if you go, he does have a YouTube channel um, and also an Instagram. But like I said, he's not super active right now. He had, you know posts like once every six months or something. But um, he uses chisels a lot and is a big believer of that. So um, kind of picked up my love of chisels from him. Yeah, these are really nice tools. Um, I wish they did put like a number for the sweeps. I feel like that would have been, you know, nice to just be able to like at a glance pick up the right tool and not have to like kind of look at it. But, you know, a lot of tool manufacturers will put that number on the blade and usually it's too small to really be able to see just grabbing tools, you know, that you have to kind of look at it and look at it in the right light to catch the numbers because it's usually pretty small and not easy to see anyways um but yeah these are really nice tools and um if this is something that you think that you like you know i don't think you're going to be disappointed getting these um they're really cool so that's my take on power grip tools um thanks isaac for recommending these um i'm going to be enjoying using these in the future so um, thanks for watching and, um, uh, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, and I will bring more videos to you guys.